right, welcome back, watch fans. Oh, I have a cold, but you know what? Nothing better than opening a box uh, with a brand new watch uh, than when you are homesick. So, <clears throat> if you can handle my, and no, it's not COVID. I already had COVID, and I also got the vaccines. So this is just me being sick with some other cold. Let's see what this is. I have no idea. Oh! Put the bed. Very nice. Okay, this is uh, <clears throat> March. Watch game. Very cool. It's been a while. Like I said, I got a bunch of these and I haven't opened them. All right. That's very cool. I'm very excited. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, man. That is nice. Damn. Oh. Wow. It's nice. No matter what, what way I look. Oh, God, look at that. You know, I was just saying to myself a couple days ago that I really wanted to have one of these. God, this is a really nice watch. This is a, a oh, man. Cortebert, um... Elevation chronograph. God, it's just, it's fantastic. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. <sighs> yep. All right. This, gosh darn it. I have to keep this one. I mean, how can I not keep this? All right. Let's see if I can find a video about the brand. Um, let's go. Line up for a perfect takeoff with the Cordobair Elevation Slide Rule, a chronograph with more than enough power to propel your style game to new heights. The ticking heart of the Elevation Slide Rule is a dependable Japan Quartz chronograph movement with date. This movement is set into a 44mm diameter, 13.8mm thick stainless steel case, complemented by a mineral crystal lens with sapphire coating. The Elevation's face is a mastery of measurement, with every facet carefully considered to provide you with the most information possible. Three complications allow you to track time down to the tenth of a second, while a date window rests at the four o'clock position. While rounding out the Elevation's functionality is a 10 ATM water resistance. It's nothing but clear skies ahead with the Cordobair Elevation Slide Rule. From its detail-heavy face design to its solid construction, this timepiece will set your heart soaring every time you look at it. All right, watch fans. So this is the Court de Bed. Uh, and just so you know, I don't plan on saying it properly in French because uh, I know they hate to have their language butchered uh, by somebody who's trying to sound like they're French. So I'm just going to say Court de Bear. Uh, and that I'm just going to leave it at that rather than try to uh, butcher it. This is a fantastic watch. Um, this is the, um, the elevation and there are a ton of, uh, really fantastic court de bed watches. And I'm, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to cover uh, all of them, but I'm going to try. Uh, I'll start putting some pictures up on the right after I'm done, uh, getting through this. Uh, this elevation is a, their chronograph, uh, version. And I mean, just look at this thing. Uh, this is so fantastic. Um, so what, what I'll first say is Cortebert is uh, a manufacturer that dates back uh, for a, a long, long time. I'm trying to remember. I'll, I'll put the date at the bottom. Uh, I knew it. I forgot. It probably says it somewhere. Uh, this is their original logo from, from back in the day. Um, one of the things that you'll find about this is that this is another one of those companies that was brought back, refounded, if you will, from... Uh, Solar Time Incorporated. Now, I I want to just kind of I want to share my opinion on this because, and and while I'm doing that, I'm going to unwrap this. I really like the fact that somebody takes a defunct uh, Swiss or French brand or German, what have you, and then decides to uh, bring the brand back. Um, you, you know. Ingersoll never, like, Ingersoll is one of my favorites, of course. You know, I mean, my favorite probably is still Wenger. But 
Ingersoll was a brand that uh, never really actually went out of business, I suppose, but they had gone from American to, I think, Swiss to British. Uh, yeah, one Waterbury Clock Company, so it became a British company. Uh, and then eventually it, it became um, a Hong Kong company, and, and, and that's okay. But you look at the watches that were produced then and the watches that are produced now. And the watches produced by Ingersoll are infinitely <clears throat> higher quality than Ingersoll ever produced during their original run. I mean, it's just hands down. You know, there were some iconic watches, and they did a lot of stuff, right? They were the every, every man's watch, sort of the Ford Model T of, of watches. And, and, and it was fantastic, and, and they, they did a lot for the industry. But, you know, these companies have brought back these these brands like Corte Bad. And I, I will tell you, <clears throat> the quality of this watch far exceeds what you used to see from from Court de Bear in uh, the original uh, the original um, watches that were issued in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I think they stopped in the 60s, but you just can't compete with mon modern manuf manufacturing for mass-produced watches, right? Uh, obviously, something like, a, I mean, even starting at sort of a, a Lexus, right? You know, you have things where the the bridges are chamfered on the movements and stuff, but for mass produced watches, particularly quartz watches, which this is, you just can't beat the type of quality that you can get now today. I mean, these are, uh, I mean, this, this, this watch really, truly is fantastic. These are, these are solid links, right? This is a solid link bracelet, uh, billet, um, deployment clasp or butterfly clasp. I mean, this is, this is built. This isn't stamped. Like, let me see if I can find I have a, a Wenger somewhere. I can't find them. I usually take them off. But, you know, during during that period... Of, let's see. Can I even... So, like, here's... This is a crazy watch. But here's an example. This is a stamped, stamped one. Like, most of the Wengers back in the day, even the 90s and stuff like that, when they were first coming out, where they had high quality, they had things like that. But this is, this is a very high quality watch. So, Solar Time is a company that's based out of Hong Kong, uh, also with headquarters in the UK, and they reproduce, they buy up a lot of different companies that had, uh, you know, so, so they create new ones too, like, um, like uh, RGMT, um, Aviate, uh, you know, to name a couple, but then they also come up with, uh, 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 you know, ones like Court de Bed and uh, what was the other one? I can't remember, I'll put it up here if I can remember. But they, they reproduce watches and, uh, you know, these, these brands. And then they bring them back. And they really, really do it justice. I mean, this watch is gorgeous. Just look at this. This is a fantastic chronograph. Um, it just... God. I mean, I can't even explain to you how, how much, when I look at this watch, I'm impressed. This is a keeper. Do not expect this one to show up in my eBay. <clears throat> my eBay auctions. Because I'm keeping this one. And for the record, this was the black for March, I think it was, the black club for uh, March for uh, Watch Game. <clears throat> so I paid, I don't know, $100 for this, something like that. Um, but let's let's just start getting into it because I'm starting to ramble now. So this uses a Seiko uh, VD57D, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put pictures up here, and so you'll start to see, see some of those. It's a fantastic quartz movement by Seiko. I love Seiko movements, uh, particularly for these quartz and the chronograph ones. Seiko has a long history of producing some really fantastic watches, including some of their old ones like the 7T32, which are, which a lot of people are trying to find right now because they're, uh, um, they're really popular for some of their more fancy watches. I got one right here if you want to look at it. This is this is like an example of a 7T32, you know, <laughs> multiple crowns, fantastic watch. Uh, but uh, just absolutely fantastic movement. So this watch is not going to break anytime soon. It is solid. So uh, very first thing you notice, of course, is it's a chronograph. Um, really nice uh, movement. You can see it's got tenths of a second at the top. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my watch out because I can't see it through the camera. Uh, it has got a, a minute counter on the, uh, the left side. And this is a second counter. At the bottom here and uh, it, it's you know goes around 
counts uh, 60 seconds on the at the at the nine o'clock. Uh, it's quite good, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I just repaired my house, so this is not not like I don't clean my fingernails. I just <laughs> I did some last minute work and I can't get the paint off, uh, so it is what it is. <laughs> but for those who who uh, don't know, I am in the process of moving. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I literally have uh, one week left and I leave. So the the movers come next week and I won't be here and they're going to pack it up and then I'll have to build a new new workshop. But fantastic uh, movement. Let's see, I'll reset it. Just absolutely excellent. I mean, I can't say any more about it. Uh, really fantastic tachyometer with, the, with, with this adjustment on the right, which is very smooth action, very smooth. Uh, it just glides, you know, but you can't, you, you bump it and it doesn't move. Some of them some of the ones that have like this uh, inner trim ring, uh, they're very sensitive. This one's not. It's very tight, but not so hard that you can't move it. Uh, again, very, very good quality. I love the red accent uh, on these buttons. It's just absolutely fantastic. I can't say it enough. Um, the logo is, is on the crown. <clears throat> Let's see where else do you see it. You got the name signed on there. Of course, it's on the back. <clears throat> I mean on the face on the back you've got let's see if we can show it well uh, you've got the name uh, and there's a tachyometer which it doesn't really <laughs> serve much purpose but it looks very nice uh, water resistant 100 meters so that's pretty fantastic for a watch like this as well um, that means you can do whatever you want in this watch uh, you can go snorkeling swimming wash dishes take a shower with it this thing can handle it absolutely perfect um gosh i, I mean i keep saying it but i i really love everything about this watch this watch is just absolutely fantastic i mean look at this who would not like this watch it comes in a, a dozen or so different colors and i'll start showing them on the right there um this is just one of their many models, but uh, they come in all different colors, whatever suits your clothes or style. Um, you can also get it with a uh, different watch straps as well. Uh, this one just, you know, I didn't really pick it, but honestly, this is just it's perfect. It's, it's almost like Watch Gang knows me, and obviously I'm not paid by them, but uh, I'm a huge fan uh, lately of, of Watch Gang. Some of the watches that I've been getting have just been really fantastic. And for someone like me who likes to learn about these brands and enjoys the research, um, I, I think I just, I really like it. Now they do, um, they do work with Solar Time a lot. A lot of the watches I've been getting have been from Solar Time or Xeon. And I'm okay with that. That doesn't mean that they haven't, they've all been like that. I've gotten some really one-off and micro brands, which is also very cool. But um, this particular uh, company that they've been getting a lot of their watches from are, are pretty fantastic. So it has a sapphire crystal, and I believe it's slightly domed as well, which is actually really nice. Um, you know, that's that's an, an added touch. A little bit makes it more expensive because you can't just, you know. Uh, I, I'm sorry, it's three-layer coated sapphire. So it's like basically what Wenger does. Um, and for those who says you can't do that, yeah, well, you can. Obviously, you superheat the uh, um, the sapphire, and you can simply just layer over mineral crystal. Uh, the bracelet and watch itself is stainless steel, uh, three sixteen stainless steel, highest quality uh, billet. Everything. Let's go ahead and measure this, and I'm going to also take some a weight as well, and I'm going to start wearing this one today. So I'm glad to get this review over with because I want to start wearing it. All right, I'm going to say this is like maybe 43 millimeters, maybe 40. Let me see if I can get this right. Yep, 43. Man, I'm good. All right, I'm going to say 20 millimeter, 23. Let's see. 22, 22 millimeters in thickness. Oh, I don't know, 14, 13 and a half. No, 14. Man, I'm, I'm getting pretty good. Awesome, awesome. All right, and somebody, you guys also want lug the lug, so I'll do that as well. Lug the lug, which is really from the, I'd say about 46. 46 lug the lug. So it's pretty good. All right, and let's uh, 
give this a good way. I'll do it in grams because most of my viewers are international. And in the US, we should learn grams anyways. 195.5, which is, which is quite decent. Um, all right, so now let's see what the loom looks like. I'm pretty excited because I have not seen it, totally honest, no idea what this should look like. Ooh, I like that. So just so you know, the face isn't actually lighting up like it looks like it. It's just that the uh, the loom on the hands is so well lit. But you can still see the second hand as well. Um, and of course the pintle at the top, which is, which is nice. Very cool, very, very cool. So I haven't sized this yet, but I've got my, my Ingersoll bronze. I'll take that off and see what this looks like. I have seven and a half inch wrist. It's very loose, so it's for all different kinds of sizes, but this is pretty fantastic. God, I really like this watch. This watch gang did well, and I will tell you, Solar Time did fantastic bringing this brand back. I don't know who designed it. I assume it was designed in, in uh, they, they have a design shop in the Netherlands and also one in the UK. I think most of their work is done in the UK, but they have a couple designers in, in the Netherlands, and uh, man, this is just fantastic. I mean, look at this watch. I could just stare at this all day. You know what? And I will. I'm going to go put it on right now. All right. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. My videos are sort of few and far between because I am in the process of moving, and there may be like a month where I don't even put up a video, but as soon as, <clears throat> as, soon as that happens, I will... Uh, start putting more up. I just bought a house. I'm in the process of selling a house. <laughs> I'm moving to another state, starting a new job, staying with the same company, and starting a law degree. So, it's a lot going on. But, uh, still have time for watches. Alright, thank you very much.